cool. Okay, hello. Welcome to the JS Core Dev Team Weekly Think on the 6th of August, 2018. Uh, if you're here, put your name down on the hackpad, uh, on the attendees list, and then I'm gonna paste that into the chat just in case. Um, and please add your weekly update if you haven't already. Uh, would someone take some notes today? I don't suppose there'll be many. Ah, I'm not even looking. First go, yeah, hooray. <laughs> Sweet. Um, cool. Okay, so let's start with a round of updates. How are we all doing? Um, welcome to the floor. Uh, David Diaz, you go first. You're on, on top of the list. All right, all right, I'll go first. Um, cool, thank you. Um, so right now, like last week was a pretty exciting but intense week with the web summit and a lot day. Uh, we did a lot of lightning talks. Um, I did a couple, a couple of others do workshops. Uh, we released JSIPFest.io, which was awesome. If you haven't tried it, please go try it. It gives you your browser superpowers with service workers. And this week is really, um, for me, uh, trying to help everyone to like resync, like reset, because we shuffled our priorities so much last week, for last week that I want to make sure like people really like take it. First, take some time like to just breathe and, and I can relax because last week was super important in the project and we did super well. Um, and, and I just review the key results for the quarter, see the ones that we have hit so far, see the ones that are missing. Are we, did we identify things with the dev meetings in Berlin and the, the events last week? that are super important and that we should totally like take it on instead of like finishing some of the things that we have in play. So, so right now I'm like running through like the mid quarter retrospective. You might have seen the issue I opened. If you haven't, uh, I'll link it here. Um, and then uh, let's do the mid quarter retrospective uh, and, and like run the, like just the session, like the set, like let's do it next week at the session as in instead of like just a weekly update actually going through like everyone's scores and like just letting people like output out like what they think should be their priority and also like how many days do they have left in the quarter i know some people have some holidays plan or some conferences attendances like we should really be real about okay if the quarter has like 20 days left or 30 days left how much work days you actually get and so try to project like how many days you need for each of the tasks. And like if it's more tasks than days, then, then like let's see the ones that they need to get dropped. But that's it, that's it for me. Any questions for me? All right, all right. I guess you can go next. All right, cool. Uh, thank you, David. Uh, sweet. Um, I was also at the DWeb Summit and it was um, pretty awesome. Good, good lightning talks, good participation all round. Um, I wasn't able to go to lab day, but I heard it was epic. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I hope they do another. Um, so anyway, me, uh, what did I do? So whilst I was at the D web summit, managed to release a new version of uh, JS IPFS because there was a issue with the gateway, not setting the correct content type header for SVG files. Um, so that was, that was fixed, uh, and released, um, it was fairly easy. Um, I also released a version of JS IPFS API, um, which adds um, files dot, uh, read pull stream and read readable stream uh, methods for, the, for, for reading, your, reading your files from MFS uh, via streams. Um, yeah, uh, and that's about all of the work I got through. Um, not blocked on anything at the moment, um, but this week I hope to, or I have been trying to get the uh, ipfs.resolve pull requests uh, merged. Uh, that's, I think, really, really close now, so that's good. Um, and I saw that Matchy had uh, sent a pull request to JS IPFS and IPFS DCTL to, um, to allow it to use uh, pre-generated uh, private keys or peer IDs, um, which would be great for our tests because it should speed them up a whole bunch, not actually doing the crypto to generate uh, peer IDs uh, for each node that we spawn during the tests. So um, I'm going to try and push them through or help in whatever way I can to get that, that landed. 
Um, and then, so I've also been trying to make progress on uh, Base32, CID, uh, CID V1s. Um, uh, yeah, I've been doing a little bit on that today, looking at issues and, um, and responding and, and stuff. So um, I'm going to continue with that the rest of this week. Um, and that is all I have to say, unless there are some questions. Nice. Okay, cool. Thank you, Alan. <laughs> uh, so Volker is not here. He's going to a meetup, um, uh, but he says he's done, he's done the D-Web Summit uh, and he's going to look at GraphSync next. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, and PhosphoD presentation pr uh, preparations. So that's great. Um, cool. Uh, moving on to Vasco, you are next. What's going on? Hello. So, as you, I also was on the web and PLF day. It was a hard week, but really awesome. Uh, during the, the week, I helped find the, with final bugs for launching GSIBFS.io and also some minor fixes on the service worker gateway. Uh, today, I managed finally to, it was like uh, five minutes ago, I managed to get uh, a GSIBFS publish and then I go IPFS resolve in IPNS land. I'm uh, now just uh, need to refactor it and uh, uh, probably today I will uh, update my PRs with that. Uh, so I'm not currently blocked. And uh, for this week, uh, I want to have this full interop uh, PRs ready for being uh, reviewed. Um, I also have to finish uh, uh, the republish of IPNS and uh, the interop uh, of the repo, I will sync with uh, Jacob. We will come back, I think it's on Wednesday, uh, because I need to have all uh, these uh, PRs ready this week because I will be on holidays in the next week. And uh, I think it's that for me. Any question? Woohoo! Uh, did you uh, say IPNS, what uh, result from? YPFS, is it like yeah, locally? Yeah, local. Or but I think, but I think that uh, uh, the path now for the using the DHT will be pretty fast because uh, I for in order to have it uh, working interoperably, I had to make some things that uh, supposedly should be for the DHT because uh, uh, they when they create a in go when they create. Uh, publish uh, IPN, when they publish IPNS record, they basically create uh, immediately the three <laughs> records in the data store, which are the local one and uh, two for the DHT, one for the public key and another one with the entry. And without them, uh, I can't have uh, interop. So I also need to, to implement that part for the interop. So it will be even faster now to get the DHT parts also ready. That's that's right. Um, my recommendation: really do the pub sub one first because you might hit other problems with the DHT that you don't really want to think right now. Like you want to do the pub sub because then even PeerPub and, and other apps can start using it uh, that they already rely on pub sub. All right. Cool. Good news. All right. Thank you. That's what that was my question. Cool. Okay. Uh, no other questions for Vasco? Okay, moving on. Uh, who are, where, are we, where are we? Uh, Travis, long time no see. I like to see yeah. your face. Hi. <laughs> hey. Um, so my, my plan last week to uh, get the uh, updated version of IPPD merged was kind of stunted because uh, everyone was dealing with D-Web stuff. So this week I'm going to <laughs> actually get it merged. I'm working closely with Jeremy to get that all reviewed. It's, it's quite a big uh, review, but it'll be uh, amazing in the end. So I did last week though, I did do a preliminary test with uh, JS, IPFS and IPPT and it actually worked really well um, to the point where I actually only had to change, swap out the name of the binary I'm using from IPFS to JS, IPFS. Um, and then pretty much everything just kind of worked. Uh, so that's really exciting. Uh, it means that it's going to be real easy to get interrupt in there. Uh, and it might influence a little bit away the, the IPS plugin, plugin works where you maybe just 
specify what you know binary you're using. So you say it's IPFS or JS IPFS, and everything just kind of works. Um, so yeah, so this week I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that gets merged in, um, and then JS IPFS is gonna come in really quickly after that, um, and then I'm gonna start kind of digging into probably not necessarily this week, so I'll kind of leave it out. But browser support is kind of the the downstream from this. So super exciting. David has a question. Yeah, I have a question and a request. Um, sure. So the request is pretty simple. Can you record a video? Like, yeah, can you do yeah. a demo video? Yeah, I can. Awesome. Yeah, I'll do a, uh, an AMC or an ASCII cast or whatever it is. Um, go to terminal, yeah. terminal recording to show it. Yeah. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Yeah, do that. Uh, the, it was not clear. So are we using the Go IPFS CLI to talk with the JS IPFS daemon? Or did you yeah, yeah. Want to? yeah, yeah. Okay. So in that, in that test, that's what I was doing. Um, basically, told it to initialize and run the daemon with uh, the JS IPFS uh, uh, script, and then using IPFS as the the, the command execution, um, which works out really easily because you actually specify when you actually like run each command, you tell it what to use. You just say IPFS versus JS IPFS. So yeah, that's great. That, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's perfect. Um, I think that's exactly what we need. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. yeah. No, it's going to be great because uh, it's also going to allow for real easy Go IPFS and JS IPFS and test and interrupt. Um, so, it's, yeah, no, it's going to be, I, I'm about to be really excited. <laughs> it's going to be really cool. <laughs> that's going to be really cool. I like it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, cool. All right. That, that wasn't me. I don't have more questions. Nice. Okay. Um, we reached the end of the uh, people, people. We have a lurking Michael Rogers. Um, I don't know if you want to say anything or speak now or don't. Quiet. Is lurking. Okay. I, I am lurking. That is true. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a ton of uh, DSIPFS specific stuff. Um, Proto school went great. DWeb went great. Lab day went great. Um, everything's looking very good. I'm getting through my emails right now there's like a day worth of just emails <laughs> That's nice a question um, from michael yeah, yeah uh totally agree like the web was great and proto school was a big success and i can't wait to see other meetups adopted uh do you have any more plans to give it more love in the next weeks or uh are you just like super busy with other things um, this this month I'll definitely be messing with it, and then also um, some other people um, are definitely doing some stuff with it as well. I think. Well, also Rob is working on just docs in general, and then that's going to give us some good kind of glossary terms to link back to. So we're figuring out the best way to integrate that, and we're also talking about like some other lessons and or just sort of um, just textual based lessons to do the introductory parts, like maybe adapting some stuff from the distributed web book or whatever. So looking into all that, like over the next month, uh, and then hopefully it'll be in a good spot. And then also related to that, we were working on a work plan um, and a hiring plan for a community manager. And one of the things that they'll be doing is spinning up this whole community and really pushing it. And so hopefully also by the end of the month, we'll have somebody around and, um, Something like an adapted version of what Node School has for like how to set up a meetup and all that kind of stuff. So. That's pretty cool. That, that, that's right. Um, one more thing that I would say, uh, also a request, because you did an introductory talk to IPLD on the D-Web. And, and right now we kind of like miss talks about IPLD and like people don't really get it. So um, either if you want to read deliver the talk somewhere else, like some other meetup, or even just like record it at home so that we can have that and put it on the website, it would be super useful. Like I see a lot of times um, following Stack Overflow, people asking about IPLD, I can see it on discuss.ipfs.io, I see it on Reddit, uh, I see it on IRC. Um, and so having a little bit more materials, given that they are already done, it just requires you recording them. Uh, would be super useful. I don't know, just an idea. I, I don't want to throw more work on you. Just, just show, show everything on my. Mind. Yeah, yeah. I should talk with Rob too and see if um on his doc site that he's going to have like a better sort of uh, primer on IPLD. Um, I'd like to get into that because I, I think like it's great to have 
videos up and to get those promoted but um especially with the lessons and everything like for the primers i'd like to have them in text if at all possible yeah cool okay yeah all right that was it for me cool any other questions in which case we are we've reached the end of this meetup and it's been super fun even though there's only been five of us here but that's okay um well, I guess we'll all see each other next week. Uh, and um, until then, keep on IPFSing. And uh, yeah, bye. <laughs> bye.